Okay, if you are doing um, some kind of digital asset resource uh, as you have to do in task three, um, then it's important to make sure you get your graphics out of Sibelius in good order. So I see a lot of people who um, who take screenshots and in fact by default Sibelius has funny paper textures. This one is not too bad but some of them are pretty ugly. Um, and you then get those paper textures in the screenshot. You also get things like the playback line and any other markings you've got in the score grayed out things. So if I do that and go and take a screenshot and then put it into my lecture notes. No, I can put it into a blank document. Um, I will call this teaching resource. Okay, you'll see that. You see they get that funny shade because that's the paper texture color and it just generally doesn't look good. The other thing that's worth knowing is if you're creating resources that are designed to be projected, like in a, a keynote presentation or something like that, Whenever you do a screen capture, it's only 72 DPI, which is, and it's also no good for printing. Printing, really, you want to work at 300 DPI, 600 if you know you're actually going to a proper publisher and doing it nicely. So that's not a good way of getting music into any kind of document, um, whether it's going to be printed or show on screens. Okay, so instead of that, what you want to do is use proper graphics export. And again, this is just all the same functions are avail available. In Finale, they just work a slightly different way. So talk to your nearest Finale friend if you need to do it in Finale. In Sibelius, the quickest way of doing it is with the quick graphics export. So to do that, I highlight this, the bit of music that I want. I press Alt and G, which is uh, a graphics highlight. And you see that it's got that dotted line all the way around it now. And then I can simply go Copy over into Word and Paste. Okay, and that resize it, whatever I need to do. If you want to have even more control and better quality than that, or if you need separate graphics for uploading to websites, for those of you who are planning on creating interactive multimedia websites, I'm sure many of you are, uh, again, you can either select just the bit you need and press Alt and G, or you can uh, export a whole page at once. And you do this by going File, Export, and then choose Graphics. And I find the most useful uh, format is PNG. If it's a whole piece of music that's going to be reprinted on a page to a PDF. But PNG is really good because it allows for um, various things that other file formats that Sibelius exports don't. And it looks really tidy on the web. And unless I know that I am only need to work in a low resolution, I leave it on around 300 dpi dots per inch. And I also leave it in color, even if I know it's going to be black and white. I've just found that if you change it to black and white, monochrome as it's called, that it just, the edges just aren't quite as clean, just the way that it draws the grays. So um, yep, do that, and then tell it where you want to save it. So I'll put this on the desktop, and click Export, and that's done. It's almost instantaneous. So now you can, um, if you haven't got as many stupid things open as me, very quickly drag that into your Word document. Okay, and you can actually even see here in Word, if I zoom in on the page a bit, that that is actually higher quality, the one that I exported. I don't know whether that's obvious to you or not, but it's fairly obvious to me on the screen here. And that's graphic export, everybody.